evening. Thank you for joining us. Temporary relief for state workers. Governor Ige is delaying his plan for mandatory furloughs. Yeah, some good news just before Christmas. They'll no longer begin on January the 1st, but they're not completely off the table. Kimberly Speakman with more tonight on our top story. Under the furlough plan, state workers would be forced to take off two days a month. That's about a 9% pay cut. And while many are glad that the furloughs have been delayed, frustration remains. The reason Governor Ige is delaying the furlough is because of funding in the $900 billion congressional stimulus bill. Through this bill, the state will have access to federal funds to pay for things like vaccine distribution, testing, and education, freeing up more money in the state's bank account. For state workers, the delay is a welcome one. They're relieved. You know, it's Christmas in a couple of days, and a lot of them had been holding back buying Christmas gifts for family members, on buying decorations and celebrating the holidays. But while it's an immediate reassurance, Ho says many workers are still worried about what may come. They're anxious. Uh, a lot of questions were about, you know, how long do you expect the furloughs to last? And, and they were sharing stories about the impact that these furloughs would have on their lives. The Hawaii State Teacher Association says this will help many teachers who are expecting the first furlough day on January 4th before kids get back to class. You just can't walk into a classroom and be prepared to teach. So this will give our teachers that opportunity to set up their classrooms and to get ready for the semester, which otherwise would not have been uh, available. While the delay is a relief for some, furloughs are not completely off the table. The unions say they will take action against the governor if a furlough is imposed before their contract expires in June of next year. The University of Hawaii Professional Assembly has filed a lawsuit against Governor David Ige, intending to block the furlough. In a statement, UHPA Executive Director Christian Fern says, since we have not had the benefit of discussion to explore alternative solutions to the state's budget deficit with the governor and his administration, we are resorting to legal action to challenge the governor's legal right to override our contract terms. I reached out to the governor's office for comment on the lawsuit. I'm still waiting to hear back. Kimberly Speakman, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii. Now again, the